Hi friends, my name is Mary Margaret and I am a teacher with the Pacific Science Center. Today we're going to be talking about bugs or insects. So first we're going to learn about the parts of an insect and then I'm going to show you how I like to draw insects so that maybe you can draw some at home. Let's go over the different body parts of an insect because we see insects all the time and sometimes it's really fun to look close up at something. So the first body part of the insect is the head. Do you have a head? Go ahead and put your hand on your head. The next main body part in an insect is called the thorax. Can you say thorax? That's the part that goes in the middle of the insect. And then finally, the third big part of an insect is called the abdomen, which is another word we use sometimes for our tummies. So you can pat your tummy and say abdomen. Insects also have some really cool things called antenna. And antenna are those two things at the top on the head that are growing out. And they use their antenna to reach out and smell things and touch things. So they use their antenna to touch the ground or maybe to smell the air when they're looking for food. So those are pretty important body parts too. So you can hold up two fingers to your forehead like you have antenna. Insects also have some legs, just like us. So you can reach down and touch your legs. So do insects have two legs like us? No, they definitely have more. So let's go ahead and start counting them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Insects have six legs. So to draw an insect, I just like to break it down into the parts that we just learned. So for example, I would start with drawing a head. Let's just draw a circle head for this insect. Let's start by drawing a circle. The next part I need to draw is the thorax. And for that, you can just draw sort of an ovaly circle underneath the head. And finally, We've got to put on the abdomen, and that's that third part, right? Just do another circle-y oval at the bottom there. The next thing is, let's give this friend some antenna. Remember those go at the top coming out of the head, and it helps the bug smell and touch things. Let's give it some eyes. Whoop, two circles there. Whoop. And how many legs do insects have? Six. Let's give this friend six legs. The first set of legs on an insect usually point forward like that. So the front two legs point forward. And then the other set of legs usually point back. So they point like back. So if you just combine a few simple shapes, circle for the head, an oval for the thorax and the abdomen, and then just some lines for the legs and antenna, and a couple of small circles for the eyes, then you can draw an insect. I like to get kind of funny with them and do lots of crazy shapes. So let's see if we can do some more interesting shapes to put together into insects. take those three main body parts, the head, thorax, abdomen, and then add six legs and some antenna, sometimes wings you'll see in some of my drawings, you can make a lot of funny looking insects. And you can see with each one, I just tried to do lots of funny shapes 
and add them together. This one I did two triangles stuck together. And then I colored them in fun colors that I really liked. I really look forward to seeing what kinds of insects you come up with and how you combine shapes to make the kind of insect that you think looks fun and interesting. I hope you had fun watching me draw bugs, and I hope you draw some bugs at home too. You can make up bugs like I was doing, or you can actually go and catch a bug and illustrate it. If you have any drawings that you want to share with us, you can share them with us on Twitter at Paxi, and you can use the hashtag curiosity at home. Have fun.